knocking, they're knocking. And you dressed in black, which I abhor. How many times must I tell you, be be so pastel colors? Yellow, pink, blue. Do not burden her memory with black. I need color, color, color. I need color to paint. Your husband is an artist, a painter, glorified with medals, honored by kings and queens. Forgive me, Chichi. Oh, forgive me once again. Bibi's last breath extinguished the light of reason in my brain. What monster is this growing within me in the shape of immortality? Help me, Chichi. Not paint. I look inside my head and can see only black. Help me dispel these dark shadows I see everywhere. I need to see color. In 1892, my father departed radically from the romantic traditions of his paintings. No more bloody scenes from classical Rome. Instead, the painting Parisian life flirted with new trend impressionism. But it is more than flirtation with art. Who is that woman in the lavender dress? Her hat decorated with flowers, her lips parted, her head tilted. What is she saying to the man who sits in front of her? A man whose face we cannot see. And who are those three figures in the back, whispering, judging, 
speculating. Was this painting just another scene from a Paris cafe? Or was it in fact a portrait of marriage full of suspicion? Manang chiching ilok at muman Ta bentanam ikalok baban Ta keta em toy kinayawan Ay matay akong do tinakasyan Stop singing that song! It's so silly and so ugh! And so ugh! What? Say it, say it! So Indio, you and your mother with your peninsularis prejudices Yes, peninsularis prejudices That's why I married a new Asino ka naglabas labas, kahardin ko harapan ayak. Amun nga rut, abalas ang aksa mong tiliryo di pa inagukran. Manang chichi. Red. Yes, red, not black. You don't like black, remember? Yes, but red. Are you? Baiting a ball! <laughs> Some artwork. He is not a very good artist. Here! This is a Luna! This is the last time you will paint your face, understand? How oh, dare you do this to me? I'll leave you alone to do your painting. I'll oh, dare you paint! I will do as I please with my face! Having an affair, aren't you? You found a cure to your asthma in the arms of another man, didn't you? Confess, confess, confess! <laughs> you treat me like a child caught cheating in class. You want me to admit another man has treated me with gentleness. A human being has looked to me with kindness. Known my aspirations and dreams like I know yours. That had good no knowledge of my body and soul. Stop! 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 Monster! You barbaric monster! What are you doing to my daughter? Your daughter is an ungrateful wife! Your mind is a twisted face, an asylum of jealous demons, where all sense of reason is held hostage by fantasy, trapped forever in your fond imagination, are pictures of my daughter's crimes. What portrait of an unfaithful wife and your crazed genius created? Show us one! Show us! Mother, you keep out of this, mother. Ma, go with us to the other room. She needs you. I'm sure she takes her medicine. I'll take care of this. Burn! 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 How I adore you with madness. If this be madness, then let it be. Hallowed be thy name to change to me. It's not your dress, it's that I love to change. Forgive me my trespasses, as I forgive you yours. You who trespass against me. The 
man. If you feel divorce is the answer, then we can discuss it. Thank God. He is too violent. No longer paid. Avengers you do not make. Good subject. I adore her with madness. There is still a question then. There is no question then. Divorce may not be the answer. Divorce is the only answer. Heaven help us. Heaven aid us. No, Trina, I'm afraid to lose her. Yes, Mama. I'm afraid of <laughs> Get a marriage rendered in flaming colors. The ballad of this glorious city. So soon faded it back to Palatine.
was not my father's health that continued to suffer. My mother continually suffered from asthma attacks, which forced her to ask my father for a month's vacation. Of course, my grandmother approved. The thermal baths of Mogdol would be good for you, Paz. You'll be able to breathe easier without that monster hovering over you. Mama, I am worried about Andres. Your boy is with me. I'll take care of him and keep him as far away from that brute of a husband. Take care, Paz. And take care. Do not give your husband any chance to suspect. Suspect what? Anything. Mama, what are you saying? Nothing, but you know your husband. Goodbye, Mama. Take care of Andres for me. And Juan. Historians tell us that while at the Baths of Mont d'Or, my mother met a Frenchman, Monsieur de Sac, with whom she allegedly began an affair. An affair that would continue upon her return to Paris. You're smiling, Paz. Is it wrong to smile, Mama? I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. And so it began. With one smile, the suspicion, the rage, the blame, the hurt. I'm back, Juan. I'm back, Juan, and you don't even look at me. Who knows where you've been? And what failed to bring back to this house? What failed? Dirty filth! Unbearable filth! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Where have you been? Where's that dress? What dress? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're out with the sock. You're that dress with him. I saw in the sock in the cafe where I was. You're wearing that red dress. Confess, confess, confess. <laughs> 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 You keep out with this mother. Get out! Get out! I'm warning you, I will have no more meddling from you. I have been here all this time with the mother. What you start talking about and what red dress? You burnt all my dresses just the other day, remember? <laughs> this set of you simple house dresses are all I have left. Yes, yes. You won't need all those fine clothes in Vigo. <laughs> It's not your dresses that I love and don't so, so you will not attract the looks of men. You will behave and live simply. I want nothing more from you. Buzz ruling and I will live in Vigo, in poverty. No more shopping. I want nothing of my wife's not from you. Or from Trinidad. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I will live from the sale of my paintings. and made her live. She will never die. I know how to take care of those I love. I do not kill those I love. My baby will live forever. Good morning. Good morning. You were up early. You mean I am up late? Where are mother and pass? They're in there, killing Luling. I mean caring for Luling. He is sick. He's looking on him, Trini. <laughs> Ah, Don Antonio, what brings you to Paris, to my house, to give us legal counsel? As a matter of fact, yes. Trini telegraphed me to come and set the condition for your separation from Paris. What do you have the presumption to do? Uh, no, I'll defend myself! Get out! Get out here! Get out of my home! Money! Money, be reasonable! Be reasonable! Calm down! Don Antonio is only here to help you and us! To help us with the divorce! I told you, I do not want the divorce! No, no, one in that a divorce. Only a temporary separation to help you and pass work out your differences and solve your problems away from each other. Lies, lies, Trini. You are the cause of this. Trini, you 
know how much I love your sister. How oh, I adore her with madness. Yes, yes, one thing. And how jealous I am of any man. I do not want a divorce, dream. I do not want a divorce. I know, I know, one thing. You should rest, sleep. One thing you need to sleep. Mas. Mother, one is very upset. Lock yourselves in the room. Don't open the door. He knocks, call me. Call me immediately. If Mr. Luna provokes a scene, the situation is very grave. We must not go far. Let us go to the cafe across the street to plan up our next step. Cousin Luling cannot go to the ego alone with one. He's too unpredictable, so jealous and violent, I'm afraid. Come quickly! Something terrible is going to happen! My mother and my sister, in the name of God, do you want money? Here, here are 10 francs, 20, 100 francs. Uh, I beseech you, he will not hurt you. It's me he wants. No! Oh. 